Hi! A few weeks ago I had posted a video and I said post your questions there and I will soon make a Q&A video. Today I'm making that video so I'm ready to give you some A's to your Q's. So let's get to it! DIY with Susie asks, uh, what do you do besides binding? And also, Funky Prank asks, what other kind of stuff do you do other than bookbinding? To answer both of your questions, I'm a full-time graphic designer um, when I'm not working and doing these videos and binding. Um, I like to find time to go outside, ride my bike, and I watch a lot of TV and a lot of YouTube videos. Probably consumes too much of my time. Sekmoni13 asks, uh, why did you decide to make YouTube videos? I used to search for bookbinding tutorials, and like many of you, I was frustrated because I couldn't find easy to follow video tutorials. I also used to uh, make silly little videos in iMovie, so I was already familiar with editing, and I decided to just put some tutorials out there because I figured there were people just like me who were frustrated and looking for those tutorials as well. And it turns out I was right because a lot of you have made comments and told me that mine are easy to follow compared to a lot of the ones out there. So that's great and um, welcome and I'm glad that you find my tutorials really helpful and um, because of that I, I'm just going to keep making them. Uh, Multi Equations ask, can you show us where to get lined paper to make a notebook? And also, John Perkis asks, where can you get the paper to use in a Coptic bound notebook? Specifically, I'm looking to make a ruled lined notebook. I'm sure if you search online, you could find maybe a supplier that sells lined paper. The DIY method that I know of is if you have your own computer and your own printer, if you have Adobe programs or Word programs, you can make just regular lines on a file and then print them out yourself on your printer. Another DIY method is to make lines with a pen and a ruler on a piece of paper yourself and take it to a photocopier place and you can make copies of that or you can ask them to make copies of that for you. Teddy, Teddy Ogden asks, which is the best style of binding to bind assorted single sheets of paper different sizes and weights? There is a method of binding for single sheets. Once I figure out how to do that myself, I will definitely share that knowledge with you and make a tutorial. Robertification14 asks, how old are you and how did you learn the art of bookbinding and you're not a nerd? I'm assuming they meant uh, you're not a nerd. I'm 28. I learned the art of bookbinding from college. When I took design courses in college, we had to learn how to bind our own books. So that's where I learned my beginning stuff of bookbinding. Then when I graduated, I wanted to continue learning about it. So from there, I taught myself a lot. I did a lot of research and that's how I learned the rest of it. Crafty Penguin 921 asks, what brand of PVA glue do you use and different types that will also work? Currently, this is the type of PVA that I use that is permanent PVA adhesive and it's made by Lineco, and that's the kind that I use. Um, I got it from an art store, but you can also find it online. Other alternatives, I haven't explored that much in other alternatives, because there's lots of different types of glue out there, but what I have found is if you find a glue that's similar to this, that looks similar to it, and if it says it's flexible, which is the keyword you want to look for, then that might work also, but the main thing is it being flexible because when you put it on the spine of your book, you want it to be able to stretch when you open the book. Travis Pena asks, can you show a panoramic view of your workspace? Here you go. Uh, that was just a quick view of my little workspace. I call it my woman cave. It's cozy. I like my little cozy space. So that concludes my first Q&A video. Thanks to everyone who posted questions. Uh, for those I didn't answer in this video, I will have already commented on your question on the previous Q&A poster questions video. If you um, have any more questions, 
you can post them in the comments of this video and maybe I'll make a second Q&A video. Thanks for watching! For more tutorials, hit that subscribe button and head over to my channel page. You can also find more sea lemon on the links listed below.